Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to flash a custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy M20. In this tutorial, we will cover the necessary preparations, such as unlocking the bootloader and installing TWRP recovery, Now let's start. To unlock the bootloader, you need to open settings and enable developer options and for that you need scroll all down and select about phone and select software information and tap on build number seven times quickly. Return to the main settings menu, and now you see that the developer options appear. Enter developer options and enable OEM unlock, and bear in mind that this option will erase all data After the factory reset, the phone will boot up in the setup menu. Just accept all terms and configure all the setup. Now enter settings and re-enable developer option and enable USB debugging. And after that power of the phone, after the screen goes black, plug the cable into the PC. and press the volume up and down button simultaneously and plug the power cable. After this message appear, press the volume up button. All the file that I use in this video are in the description. First step is to extract the file, Odyne file, and click in the, the Odyne program. After the program appear, you should see on the top right a blue rectangle where it is written, COM16 if this rectangle don't appear. Ensure the TAY your driver is installed, otherwise install it from the file in the description. That blue rectangle signifies that your phone is connected to the PC. Now click in the AP slot and then select the TWRP file. And select Option and Disable Auto Reboot. Then click Start. After the flash finished, a pass message should appear. Now return to the phone. After the flash finished, unplug the cable.
Now press the power and volume down button until the screen goes black. and quickly remove your finger from the volume down button and put it in the volume up button. If you do this correctly, the phone will boot up in the recovery mode, otherwise repeat again until the phone reboot into recovery. Now press wipe and wipe factory reset and tap yes to wipe data. Now return to the main menu and press mount. Ensure that you put a SD card in your phone. Now enable MTP and plug your phone into the PC. And don't forget to enable the micro SD slot. Now after connecting the phone into the PC, enter the Omni M20 LTE and select all file that I selected and copy and paste it in the SD card. Now return to the phone. Now disable MTP and unplug the phone. Now return to the main menu and press install. Press select storage and select micro SD card path. Now a bunch of file will appear. Press no verity opt. Encrypt 6.0 file and swipe to install. If you get an error like me, try this instead. To solve the problem, select the orange fox, M20 LT file and swipe to install. After the installation complete the phone will reboot automatically. Swipe and accept and select the file icon down left. Select the micro SD card path. Now a bunch of file will appear. Press no verity opt. Encrypt 6.0 file and swipe to install. After the installation complete, Select the RMAM state, bypass, MESA, V2, zip file, and swipe to install. Then select the trdroid android.zip file and install it. The installation will take from 5 minutes to 10 minutes. After the installation complete, select the NIC gaps, zip file, and install it. Now, exit to the main menu and press into the wipe icon. Then press format data and type yes and accept. After that, select Internal Storage, Data, Cache, Dalvik, Art, 
cash, and finally swipe to wipe. And reboot your system. If you do this correctly, you will see that you phone boot into the Surgeroid custom ROM. If not, repeat the operation again. Now let's set up the phone and look to the Android version. Now the Android version is 13. Now let's test the camera. As you see the zoom work without problem. The camera work very well. Now let's test phone calls. And the phone calls work too. Thanks guys, see you later.